morning. It's October the 19th, I think. And here we are on Bartby Holt Lane again. A couple of videos ago, we were trying to decide whether to go to Bartby Holt, which is that way, or to Bartby, which is this way. So today we're going to go this way to Bartby, and then through Thermiston, Leicester's Edgelands, close to lockdown, and then back home. So, come along, hope you enjoy it. So today, we walked down through Quenneborough and carried on to the village of Barkby, which is uh, a lovely little village. And then from there, we walked out of Barkby, across some very big fields, and then headed for Thermiston, which is on the edge of Leicester, over the A607, through Thermiston to the river, and then up the right-hand side of the river to follow a new path that uh, we've not done before. More about that later. We'll see what happened. And then to the pub, back across the road, and back through Syston, uh, past the school, and then back up the road to where we live. And that's the walk in its entirety, about nine miles. And there's Barkby, nestling in that little valley there, which is where we're headed now. Here we are in Barkby, certainly one of the prettier of the villages around these parts. Really lovely with this brook running straight through the middle of it. Here's the pub, the brookside. Looks a nice pub but I have to say I've never been in it. Obviously have to re rectify that sometime soon. And here's an interesting thing, those uh, trough-like structures there are old barrel coolers. So what they used to do is they used to rest the beer barrels in those troughs to allow the, uh, the brook to keep them cool in use until the early 1900s apparently. I wonder if they know they've only got two months to live. I wonder if they care. I think we'll have him. Or her. And here we have Bartby Cricket Pitch. A beautiful setting for a game of cricket. And this is the sort of thing I love. A little path running behind the houses. A secret path again, if you like. Let's go down here. And then we go this way. 
follow this path and out onto the fields with the footpath to Thermiston. So, onto this bridge over the railway, and this is the transition from the countryside to the very large village of Thurmiston. Uh, Elizabeth Park Hall, notable for one of Badge, the cover band I used to play in, one of their better gigs. Quite a lot of people there as well. Thermiston is a village transected by this big road, the A607, coming straight out of Leicester which you can see there in the distance. What a contrast to the views across that lovely farmland. So there we are through Thermiston, walking down this rather pleasant lane to join the River Soar. Well, this looks like a nice place to stop for a coffee. So we will. So over this bridge here is uh, Watermead Country Park, which is very, very nice. A uh, network of paths and trails around uh, some uh, lovely lakes, lots of good wildlife. But we're not going to go there today because we've never been down this path. So we want to see where this goes. So let's go down here. So never far from civilization on the edge of Leicester here, uh, see our Ferrari garage in the distance there. Never been there myself. You wouldn't know it, but we're walking alongside that dual carriageway now. Looks like the middle of the countryside, but there's a two lane highway 50 yards to my right. Love these sorts of places. Let's just have a look at the maps. 
see whether there's another way. So, oh. Brambles won, us nil. So I think we now need to find another way through. So uh, I'll have a look at the map and we'll take it from there. So I think this is as close as we're going to get to the boating lake we're supposed to walk around. The path just seems to have been completely neglected, completely overgrown with brambles. So we're going to wander down here, see whether we can get back to the river. So this is definitely not a public right of way, but as the public right of way is blocked, we'll take this. So we escaped, and now we're going to go past the Hope and Anchor, and then back home. So goodbye to the river and now we're going to carry on home. So back across the road, now magically transformed into the A46. And right beside the road. Just catch a glimpse here of another secret little lake. Completely unspoilt despite the proximity of uh, modern civilization. And here by Dana and Walsh, Advanced Pipeline Solutions, we have a little nature reserve. So this is part of Syston's history. It used to be Freeman, Hardy and Willis headquarters. Then it was the headquarters of Next. And now it's a gym. I suppose it's still in use, that's something. Now it's down here alongside Syston Brook through what's called the Donkey Park to the town centre. Right, well here we are, outside Syston's Masonic Hall, and I think we'll finish the walk here. From here, it's the usual route back home, so you don't need to see that again. So I'll say goodbye, hope you enjoyed the walk, look forward to seeing you on the next one. Bye for now. <laughs>